So today I'm going to try to figure out Vim Tutor for the la one last time. Um, I think that most people claim that Vim Tutor takes about 20, uh, at best 25 minutes. I'll try to clock in and see how much, how, how long does it take to actually go through Vim Tutor. So I am running Vim Tutor in my Windows subsystem for Linux and I'll be making some notes like the things I keep forgetting about when using Vim in quite ironically VS Code with Vim Vim plugin running on. So let's give it a shot. So Vim is a powerful editor that has many commands, too many to explain, you know, tutors such as this. Uh, that is right, I think this tutor is it's designed to describe enough of the commands that you'll be able to easily use Vim as an all-purpose editor. The appro approximate time required to complete the tutor is 25 to 30 minutes, so yeah. Depending upon how much time is spent with the experimentation, okay. Attention, the command in this lesson will modify the text. Make a copy of this file to practice on. If you started Vim Tutor, this is already a copy. So I have started with Vim Tutor, okay? It is important to remember that this tutor is set up to teach by use. That means that you need to execute the command to learn them properly. If you only read the text, you'll forget the commands. Now make sure that your shift lock is not depressed. Yep. And let's get started. So JKL. To move the cursor use a JKL H for left, J for K for up, J for down, L for right. Okay. I think I'll use Z Z Z, Z to center the line you're on right now. I have like Z Z here and ZZ, okay. Using the down key, if you're unsure of something you type, press escape to explain, uh, don't need to have the command you wanted. The cursor keys also work, but using HJKL, you'll be able to move around much faster once you get used to it, okay. Exiting Vim, yep, we all know, know, all know this, that, gosh, oh crap, let's undo that. Um, this uh, I don't know, like visual block something like this. Yep, really helpful. This exits the editor, discarding any changes you have made. Get back here, executing the command. And we can put tutor dot entry. Enter if you have this. Copy the uh, tree. Discard any changes made. Press delete after the cursor. Move the cursor to the line below. Fix the uh, 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 press X key to delete the unwanted character. Repeat steps two through four, two through four until the sentence is corrected. Uh, okay, X to delete. Now that line is corrected, go to lesson 1.4. As you go through the tutor, do not try to memorize, learn by use. Text editing, insertion, move the cursor to the first line in the below, mark the first line the same as the code, move the line. Move the cursor on top of the first character after the text is inserted. Press I and type in necessary additions. As each, were, each error is fixed, press escape to return to normal mode. Okay. Repeat the steps through two through four to correct the sentences. Okay, so I'll just there is some text missing here. Shouldn't be there is some text uh, missing here. Oh. Missing from this line <coughs> uh, 
when you're comfortable inserting text move to lesson 1.5 okay i'm comfortable press a to append text move to the first line below marked it does not matter on what characters the cursor is in the in that line press capital a and type in the necessary additions okay they're saying capital a so let's try it out let's seize it make it up there's also so capital a, a brings you at the end of the line wait is there yep. I don't know. When you're comfortable appending text, move to lesson 1.6. Editing a file. Use save, write, then quit. Okay, we're not going to do that here. Uh, deletion commands. Tap DW to delete a word. So yeah, DW to delete word. Uh, move the cursor to the beginning of a word that needs to be deleted. The letter D will appear on the last line of the screen. As I type it in, Vim is waiting for you to type W. If you see another character than D, you typed something wrong. Press escape and start over. Okay. There's some fun, some words fun that don't belong. Paper in this and this. So, H, there are some words, D, W, that don't belong in this paper i don't think when the subsystem for linux actually tells you that when d is pressed let me see if i can go okay let's try the next one more deletion commands type d then dollar mark to delete to the end of the line Mm, okay, so dollar mark, press escape to make sure you're in normal mode, move the cursor to the end of the line marked, move to the cursor to move the cursor to the end of this correct line after the dot, type D, dollar mark to delete to the end of this line. So dollar mark itself says that go to the end of the line and zero is to the beginning. So somebody typed the end of the line twice. So I'll say D huh. move the cursor to the end of the correct line after the first full stop. So after the first. So it includes the line, then it deletes it. Something like that, right? Yep. Okay lesson on operator in motion many commands that change the text are made from an operator and a motion the format for a delete command with d delete operator is as follows d the delete operator motion is what the operator will operate on listed below dw until the start of the word start of the next word excluding its first character e to the end of the current word including the last character okay the dollar sign to the end of the line including the last character so like we have seen let's try it out here if we start from here let's say start from x no no so if i say dw x is deleted let's say de dw D E including the last character this space is deleted so yeah let me write this this down because I will forget it uh. D is the motion delete operator motion
including the last character. Okay. Okay. Move the cursor to the start of the line mark. Type 2 D 2 W to move the character towards forward. 3 E to move the cursor to the end of the third third word forward. So let's try that out. So so 2 E is it 2 E? Yeah. 5e like beginning 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 so if I said word just jumps to the next word if I said e jumps to the next word at the end of it jumps to the next word at the beginning of it just jumps to the worst word now first it jumps first it jumps the end of the first line okay and whenever i click it again oh, huh very interesting it, when i'm using e it will first jump at the end of end of the line my cursor is at right now then it will keep on jumping to the end of the line end of the words of the next words forward okay i think it, it may may be useful Um, pressing push the End of the next words pressing B will start jumping at the beginning of next word forward. Okay. Using a count to delete more, typing a number with an operator repeats it that many times. Okay. In that combination of the delete operator and the motion mentioned above, you insert a count before the motion to delete more. So D number motion. Okay, that's interesting. So D number motion. In the combination of the delete word and motion mentioned above, you insert a count before the motion. You insert count before motion, I guess. So move the cursor to the first uppercase word in the line marked that DTW to delete the upper two uppercase words repeat steps one and two with a different count to delete the consecutive upper words so let's jump to zero then i'll set t d so beginning beginning okay if i set to d e what will happen there will be whenever i'm pressing e there will be an additional space so three d okay so if I delete this word now, if I do like D E, huh? Very interesting. Isn't it that interesting? So it recognizes whenever there is no space, it does not recognize the fact that. Hmm, very interesting.
operating on lines type dd to delete a whole line due to frequency of whole line deletion the designers of vi decided it would be easier to simply type two d's to delete a line move the cursor to the second line in the phrase below type dd to delete the line now move to the fourth line type 2dd to delete two lines very interesting okay let's try this down also deletes two lines okay so dd then i have two dd oh very interesting press u to undo the last command and u to fix a whole line okay i really do not have time to write that down too you I keep on pressing one instead of to undo last command capital U to fix whole line so move the cursor to the line below marked and place it on the fix first error type x to delete the first unwanted character type now type u to flex the last angle this works all the rows using the x command now type the capital u to return to the line and its original state now type u for a couple of times and you visiting now type control r hitting r a few times to redo okay let me write this down also Okay. This line replace them with undo. Yeah, that's that's what. Okay, now type controller. Okay, undo is undo. Okay. Summary. Listen to summary. To delete from the cursor up to the next word is DW. To delete from the cursor to the end of a line is D dollar sign. To delete the cursor from the end of the line dollar D dollar sign. To delete a whole line type double D. To repeat a motion prepare and type it with two numbers two w what is uh, is optional can't repeat moves over to the next and the previous action okay got it put the put command type p to previously put delete that cursor okay it's like cut, cut and paste okay p type p to put previously deleted text after the cursor move the cursor to the first line above line below type dd to delete the line store it in, a, in the vim register move the cursor to the c line above where the deleted line should go above where the deleted line should be put with p place cursor above or before okay type p to put the line below the cursor two steps through okay roses are red p violets are blue blue just it's learned can I learn it too okay Oh. the replace command type rx to replace the character at the end of character okay type rx to replace the character at the cursor with x okay i did not know that you could do that okay move the cursor to the first line mark below 
Move the cursor so that it is on top of the first error. Type R, then the character which it should be there. Repeat steps two on the okay. Let me just note it first. Note it. I think O works, right? Okay. So if I say that word R E, huh? Does it put it in insert one? No, it does not. Uh, uh, typed, huh? Can I do? No, I don't think I do two, two. Y P E Yep, it's all fixed. Okay. Let me see if I could put it on the top of the screen. Z Z is enter. Okay. So Z enter, yep. Top of the screen. To change until the end of the word, type CE. Move the cursor to the first line below marked. Place the cursor on the U in the label. Type CE and the correct word. Okay, place the cursor on the U. Includes, right? Let me see. Does it include? See. Change word deletes. This should be deletes. Then enter into deletes uh, character. Cursor to the end of the line and puts in insert mode. So CE words. What will happen if I do C W? Huh. So it does not delete the E. Doesn't change up to What's the difference between these two? C W K C E virtually no change I think. Okay, let's try it with this one. Okay, I got it. CR, the CR means enter. Okay, more changes using C. The change operator is used with the same motions. I, I delete word on end of the line. Motions are the same, such as W for word and dollar sign for end of the word. Okay, I know a trick that, like, if you do. D capital rather than D dollar sign does exactly the same thing. What if I do C? Okay, it immediately puts you on. Okay, 
the face there. Fifty dollars. Okay. C is essentially just delete, then pursue into insert mode, and that's it. It's not like really replace, replace. It's like delete and insert mode. It's quite helpful. Get C is delete and insert. Okay. Okay. C is delete and insert. <coughs> C is delete and insert. Okay. So I'm at the top of the line right now. If the line needs some help to make it the end of the line needs to be corrected. So see some help to make it like the second. Okay. What what will happen if I do like capital W? I don't think W goes forward, what happens capital W? Exactly the same thing. Right? E. Yep, exactly the same thing. Okay. So lesson three was the fun one. To pet to put back text out that has just been deleted type P. This puts the deleted text after the cursor. If a line was deleted, it will go onto the line below the cursor. Okay. To replace the character under the cursor type R and then the character you want to want to have there. The change operator allows it to change from the cursor to where the motion takes you. Type C E to change from the cursor to the end of the word. C dollar sign to change to the end of the line. The format for change is C number motion. Okay. Got it. So Z2, cursor location, type control G to show your location in the file and the file status, type G to move to a line in the file, okay I didn't got that, type control G to show your location, oh nice, let me just write it here. Show your location in the file and the file status. It, this will work here, I guess. So if I say Control G, nope, doesn't work. Why is that? Oh, I probably haven't saved it here. Fim notes, fim notes. I think this time it will work. Control G. Yeah, it is probably down there somewhere. Okay. Okay, let's get back to course and type capital G to move to a line in the file. Okay, read this entire lesson before executing any of the steps, which I did not. Stupid thing. Hold down the control key and press G. We call this control G, a message will appear, message will appear at the bottom of the page with the file name and the file position in the file. So control G, we have it right there. Very interesting, very interesting. Okay. You may see the cursor position in the lower right corner of the screen. This happens when the ruler option is set. Okay, press G to move to the bottom of the file and GG to move to the move to the start of the file. Type of the number you want on the G. This will return you to the line. You first put Control G. 
the line you were Denji. Okay, let's try it out here. That is very interesting. Uh, I'm in line 482. So if I press, yeah, yeah I got photo uh, 92 capital G. Yep, beautiful. Uh, status and information uh, type in line number then either press G or GG G to the bottom of the file, GG to the top of the file, and capital G to the bottom of the file. Okay. So let's do the search command. Type backslash followed by a phrase to search for the phrase okay normal mode type backslash notice that or okay and after error this is the word you want to sign for to search for the same phrase again simply press type n to search for the same phrase in the opposite opposite direction type capital n search for a phrase in the backward direction use question mark instead of backslash to go back where you came from, Control O. Repeat to go back further, Control I goes forward. Now, these are very important lessons. I really am learning a ton of stuff here. Uh, for forward search, question mark for, okay, let's do a comma here. or reverse search then and to find the next search next searched item forward capital N goes backward goes backward Control I. Where was your cursor big before? Control I pursue CTRL I. Ah, CTRL O. Pursue where you had your cursor before. goes forward so they're saying if I say error there's only one error right no there's several errors <laughs> okay so if I say control O, we go back, nice. Control I, oh, great. Oh my God, that is so, that is so useful, you know. Type percentage mark to find a match, matching parenthesis, ending parenthesis. Huh, oh my God, this is so, this is so important, gold right now. Type percentage mark matching parentheses or brackets okay this is what this is what it is okay let's try it out so if i s press percentage mark here it will wait what oh no sorry it will go to the end okay what will happen if i do this on a like regular word would it go to the matching word 
nope doesn't register uh, mark to go to the ending bracket bracket if you are at the beginning bracket I guess something like that okay got it now let's do substitute command type colon s old new then g e is global right to substitute new for old move the cursor to the line below marked type s then d then the enter now this command only changes the first occurrence G flex means that substitute global in the line changes all occurrence of the type dash to dash s where the oh okay I'll just make a note first then I'll come back s then new then old then g g is for global the capital G g is for Global. Okay, let's just. Okay, should I do? Okay. Starting to pile up, right? Okay. To change every occurrence of a character string between two lines, type colon hashtag then colon s old new then g where the color not the line numbers of the range of the line but substitution is to be done okay then percent is s of every chain occurrence in the whole file percent is s gc to find every occurrence in the whole file without the, without a prompt to substitute or not okay but that's the percent is here means okay Mm, okay. Don't get by the percentage marker there. Okay, let me just try it here. Uh, S then D then the then G pattern not found D. Oh, I probably messed up here the the G pattern not found D. I just don't get it why. I think I've done everything right, right? Globally in the line. Oh, GF just changes in the within the line. Okay. Got it. Uh, for changes, for substituting within, for replace operation. Operation within the line. G without G only changes first occurrence percent is yes changes now replaces throughout the file replaces 
throughout the file. Can also do it with range. You can do it with range as of line. Okay, so beginning line number ending line number ending line number then s per okay then s Okay, I think it's fine. Okay, let's move on. Lesson 4. Control G displays your location in the file and the file status. G did move to the end of the line. So let's do it here. Control G. Oh, I think. Okay. Just says, yep. Does provide everything I want. Okay, Control G displays the location in the file and the file status. Capital G moves to the end of the line, moves to the end of the file. Number then G moves to the pick, moves to the to that line number. G G moves to the first line. Typing backslash followed by a phrase searches forward for this phrase. Question mark then backwards and more or less these are pretty basic things okay how to execute an external command type colon then shebang followed by an external command to execute that command okay type the familiar command colon to set the cursor at the beginning of the bottom at the, at the bottom of the screen this allows you to enter in, in a command line uh, command line command now type the bang character this allows you to execute any external command okay as a example type ls then bang then cd this will show you the listing of the directory if you shall prompt use dir okay it's possible to execute any external command this way also with our arguments okay let's try it over here though uh, if I chase ls this is not an editor command okay frustrating let's fix it here okay this is not an editor command so I have been plugin running on I think it does not work as I intended it to work so this is going to be very very enjoyable if you said like if I say shebang then pwd okay works great running uh, shell command from vim show you to listen listening of your just case if you're at the shell prompt let's see if that ls does not work okay yes, i got it oh all my vendor will be finished by hitting enter from here on you will not mention it okay More on writing files to save the changes made to the text type 
content write then file name okay type dir or ls to get a listing of your directory you all know you must need enter after this choose a file name that does not exist yet such as test now type write your text where I tested the file name you chose this saves the whole file the film tutor on the hmm to verify this step dir or ls to see I remove this file by del ram to test very interesting so I could simultaneously run you know write write with file name okay but will I ever use this file name this is the whole film on the test to verify this debtor okay let's do this at least let's do this with cat no? um oh crap okay no problem uh cat test oh, no, let's do head test because huh works so let's remove the file it even works for the completion that what this shebang does here okay so yeah very interesting Selecting text to write to save part of this file, type V motion, then write file name. Move the cursor to this line, press V and move to the cursor to the oh, visual row block writing. Move the cursor to the fifth item below. Notice that the text is highlighted. Press the character and at the bottom of the string, this will appear. Okay. Type W. And test but it does not exist yet. Verify that you are dot dot dot. Test before you press enter. We will write the selected lines to the file test. Use dir and ls to see it. Do not remove it yet. We will use it in our next lesson. Pressing V starts visual selection. You can move the cursor around to make the visual selection bigger or smaller. Then you can use an operator to do something like D delist the test. Okay. Using visual selection to write blocks of code to a separate file. Okay, so so far select with V then. Hold on to see the lines selected. Then test. Let's try it out here. Okay, so cursor to this line, this is zero, then V. Yep pretty helpful i need to customize windows subsystem for linux because this is frustrating so okay visual box selected then right do i put a space before it nope so then right test okay so now Z enter. Retrieving and merging files to insert the contents of a file type 
our file name. Place the cursor just above this line after executing a text file. And then move down to see this lesson again. I retrieved your test values in the common R test. Test is the name of the file you use to place to below this cursor. can also read the output of an external command for example oh my god i could i could write this down this is this is so great uh. Retrieve the file, retrieve the file, test, and put it in the cursor. So if I say like Oh, nice. Order test. I can also do dir 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 dir. I must like. If I say, we just make some line here. So if I do like R, then shebang like pwd present working directory nice okay so you can also input i don't know if i could do date input external command line info output this way so Or then shabang bang then Alex. So very interesting. Very interesting. So, so no. I am crossing the fifty minute mark. Lesson five summary. Bang then uh call then bang then command executes an external command and their ls shows a directory list in del file name rm file name rems of file name the file name vmotion okay got it Type O to open a line below the cursor and place you in insert mode. Okay. Type lowercase O to open the open a line below the mark and place you in type type some character escape after typing O this place uh, to open the line above the character type capital O rather than lowercase O try this. Fuck. Let me see. So O below. So capital O. Okay, got it. Let me put it in here. So, this line below puts you on insert mode. Opens a line above. So if I say control, oh nice, nice, very nice. Oh, really need to memorize this stuff. Type A to insert a text after the cursor. Okay, move the cursor to the start of the line marked below. Type E until the cursor is at the end of the word li. Type A below E. Okay, got it. 
So if I I don't know relative numbering works here. Oh, a line. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, if I do some mischief. And then A, yep, works well. Characters are inserted, okay. Another way to replace type R, capital R, to replace more than one character. Cursor, beginning of the first two blades, now press R, then type the number below it in a second line. Now that replaces X, press X to leave to replace more. Notice that, notice that the ripple. Rest of the line remains unmodified. Now repeat the line. Oh, sorry. Okay, let's do it. Uh, I said R, then four, five, six. Huh. Talk about exactly. Replace mode is more like insert mode, but every type character deletes an existing character. okay very interesting it, that that's like the insert mode in normal keyboard so let's try this down multi-character not multi character replace use capital R while in capital R, uh, while in this, while in replace mode, while in replace mode, as you write on the line characters will be deleted. I guess will be deleted will be replaced okay so capital R 456 then word word capital R 79 okay got it copying and pasting that's the most important bit is the Y operated to copy a test B to paste it start with the visual first then Y to yank then move the cursor to the end of the line end of the line j dollar sign what that does oh j then dollar sign okay so b and a next line okay so if i go beginning then b and if I say dollar sign, then yank, j, dollar sign. Okay, let me just see this one here. Man. Okay, got it. So j, dollar sign, oh man, j, dollar sign just for the sake of it that p okay and can paste the set option set an option so a search or substitute ignore case so what we're approaching one hour right now so that was a lie that it would only take like 25 to 30 minutes that was a lie that was a that was a lie i'm just going to say that okay control o yep where am i yeah oh no i'm not i wasn't here okay then set set an option so a uh, search or substitute ignore ignores case Search for ignore by entering 
backslash ignore enter you could several times by pressing M set the IC command by set IC now search for ignore again by pressing N notice that ignore and ignore are also found set H1 search at H1 set the H1 search and in search option now uh, in search so we search let's see we don't have any matches no search okay i didn't get this part because i'm really fatigued right now let, let me see how much material we have up oh nearly finished nearly nearly finished just barely bear with me okay just so frustratingly wrong search for an ignore by entering ignore set IC ignore case set option set IC for for searching I'm not going to try it out for searching with ignore case set ignore case ignore set the insert okay let's say both, both remove the highlighting of matches enter I thought I would do that. Okay, by set, do I need to set? I see. Ignore, ignore, or else found. Set which others I see. Ah, it highlights this stuff. But what does the in C include search? Do, no. How do I escape this mode? Hmm. Enable highlighting of found words. Yes, okay, got it. Got it. to open a line below capital O okay got it got it no to switch off an option okay prepend prepend no This is the online health system. Press help. Give us a comprehensive online health system to get started. Try one of these. Press help key if you have no one. No, I don't have one. Press the F1 key if you have one. Type on slash colon help. Then read the text. The help find out what all the work under W control. 
one way to tear another huh okay control w to jump from one window to another let me just write it down control window seems like a bad combination because control window works control w yeah shards down tabs in chrome to jump windows come on try don't forget pressing enter control d insert index these are manual manual vim has many more features than vi more but more than this one we can start using more features you have to create a vmrc file I have a vmrc file i think um dollar sign vmrc vim okay write the file syntax highlighting for me for more information okay i really <laughs> do not know that we can do a lot of stuff and really need to get into customizing vim vim rc okay then help vim rc dot intro completion command line completion with control d and tab make sure vim is not compatible mode set no cp then let's start tab start tab the start of command e okay completion okay tab completion control d and tab make sure vim is not compatible mode compatible mode i don't think that Beam is CP. Okay. Look what files exist in PWR. Okay, let's see LS. I have typed. Oh, sorry. I need to, to do shebang first. Okay, LS. Okay. Then type the start of a command E. Okay. Is control D. Now add a space and start of a existing file name. Need fill. Okay, let's start. Let's see what file names we have here. We have test right now, so let's do it with text. No write since add to overwrite. Okay, got it. Okay, more or less this includes the Vim tutor. It was introduced for like a brief overview. <sighs> Far for complete. Read the manual. Okay. I think that it is this 
through this it's good and i think i'm i'm like i'm like done i think i'll breed this stuff again but that concludes beam how how much time did it take an hour and 10 minutes so those things were lie that it lie that it was it will take 25 to 30 minutes it took me an hour and 10 minutes this is so this is the end okay